He crisscrossed may have missed the bus, but you know who did not miss the bus? The bus himself. First day of school, just getting on campus. Uh, it's cold as ever, but uh, I'm excited. And uh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Former Steelers running back and NFL Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis shared this video on Twitter. He says, I have always told my kids that whatever you start, you finish. Today I started my final semester at the University of Notre Dame. I knew when I left 27 years ago to go to the NFL that I would be back one day. It's never too late to pursue your dreams and further your education. And rest in peace to the last dollar movie theater in DFW. This is a sad one for those of you who might remember going to this exact location when you were kids. The curtain has closed on Cinemark Hollywood USA Movies 15 and Garland. Y'all ain't give us a heads up. Dang, I wanted to go one last time. It opened back in 1992 as a first run theater before transitioning to a value theater and eventually becoming the only dollar movie house in the Dallas area. And finally, SMH at the reason I 35 is trending on Twitter right now. A Twitter user called Texas Forever got in on the 10 year challenge where people are supposed to share what they look like 10 years ago compared to what they look like now. Well, this is just the same photo twice. <laughs> I 35 in Waco under construction seemingly forever. Lots of folks have thoughts on this. Jack says still looking for a love that will last as long as the construction on I-35 and Jay weighing in on what he says is the worst drive in America, claiming it's I-35 between Austin and DFW. And lastly, this person says, treat yourself like I-35 and never stop working on yourself. I tweeted this one out a long time ago, by the way, super funny. I know what y'all go through on I-35, but let me tell you something. Have you driven from Dallas to Houston on I-45? That's all I wanna know because it is a struggle. Greg, 